How to change the world. You might not be happy about your current life situation. You have some problems. Something you perceive as not ideal for you. Somehow, if you could only change it, but the time is righteous. Nothing happens overnight. But first, you gotta know what should happen. What should happen exactly so your life will alter for the better. And do not blame the external factors. Blame the world. If you want to change the cruel world, you have to first change yourself. That goes for everything. The greatest shoemaker in the world, Thomas Bata, has said it for business as well. In order to build a great company, build yourself first. There are no other tools than building the vision for yourself, what you want to become and acting upon it. There is huge amount of development content. But all of it, in its very essence, consists of these two entities that are also your tools. You see, everything in this world was made by other people just like you. Yes, in what we call reality there is some objectivity. For instance, radiation exists objectively. It's there even if you did not believe that it exists. We can think of objects that are objective in nature usually when we think about biological objects. If you went to Chernobyl on the day of the disaster and never heard of radiation and did not believe it exists, you would still get radiated on that day and probably would have died on after effects of getting radiated. But most of modern people, homo sapiens, live in the world that predominantly consists of objects made by other people, where thoughts were substantiated into matter and became our reality. Most of objects from our lives are made by pure human imagination. Everything once started as a thought. But the simple thought is not enough. You can believe some thought in your head, but it only becomes our reality when this thought becomes a collective belief. The act of persuasion is the secret ingredient of creation, changing of the collective reality from a pure thought. Let's say Google for instance. What is it? Is it a search engine? A brand? logo is it one of the most talented ambitious people gatherer or is it building in silicon valley or just a simple corporation or is it a culture google is a pure creation of human minds it would not be a reality it would not be existing without entrepreneurship of human minds everybody takes for granted as an objective truth that google exists and it is our reality how could google not be real we are using it daily it's our second nature to google all kinds of things we need to research to feed our curious minds if one day the CEO of Google would wake up and claim that Google does not matter and it does not exist, he would be totally serious about it. He would have been locked into the insane asylum, simply because everybody knows that Google is real. How could it not be? The belief is so entrenched into our reality that we would not be able to think otherwise. Yet everything changes and companies like Google and their realities, they come and they go throughout the history. In the very beginning of our transformation, you begin to build a deeper mind-body connection. You spend more time observing and focusing on vast space of silence that is beyond the dissonance of world of forms. You look deeper within, you are more aware of your breathing, focus on simple being in the present moments. Yes, you are more present. Once you find joy in this, you can start to develop a widescreen method for visualization. The technique Nikola Tesla had been so profoundly using to invent awesome things. Many people use manifestations in order to achieve their dream life situations. I can help but to think about Jim Carrey in this instance. Jim Carrey is the living proof of transformation of the belief in manifestations to a famous world-known actor. I remember watching many interviews with him that he used to put a piece of paper with a 1 million dollar sign on it and put it in his pocket. That way, every time he would open his wallet, he would have 1 million dollars notice in front of him, the reminder of his big goal. It took some time until it became a reality for him. He convinced other people that he's a good actor and he deserved this kind of money, even much more as he earned millions throughout his career. But one thing that is even more intriguing 
about Jim Carrey is that he's conscious to the level of that he's not attached to things he has experienced and accomplished. A lot of times we hear him say that uh, I wish everyone could experience being rich and famous. They would see it wasn't the answer to anything. Because if you think about that, all this reality is human-made construct, just like the Google example above. It's not biological, ultimate goal to become rich and famous. All this crap of success does not matter eventually. Everything is a construct, a creation. Everything exists only thanks to a human mind. We might sound as cynics. Nothing matters, everything is human-made, construct, it's not objective, screw it. But not really, we at NX.life are not cynics. Just to strive to tranquil and manage your mind, to become its master rather than a slave of your mind. Just that is the lifetime pretty challenging quest. All of this to say that one should strive to leave a certain space in between what he sees as reality that is constantly interchanging. States, human rights, LLCs, corporations, all human constructs. Beside we have a natural goal on this planet to become well-organized and expressed beings. Organization of ourself and as a group is our biggest asset as a mankind. The human being is weak. Its muscles, no matter the, how much time one spends in the gym, is laughable when compared to any muscle of the chimp. We do not have sharp teeth or claws that we could use to harm our prey. Everything what made us successful was coordination and working together, using our own individual strengths in collaboration with the group. We are animals that can get organized in a large group, that can work together effectively, much more effectively than any other animals in the animal kingdom. Just try to put 100 chimps together in a room or even better, 1000 chimps. Their lives will burst into chaos. Humans are able to cooperate together even if they do not know each other. For chimps to form coalitions and groups that are coordinating their actions together, they have to form first personal physical relationships. They have to first smell each other, touch, e touch each other, know each other. Humans don't. All they need is the list of common symbols they all understand. Under the common denominators of trust they can organize their actions, millions and billions of them. They can unite under the symbol of cross for instance or under the trust which is symbolized by currency. Money is nothing but trust, total creation of human minds. Because otherwise it's just a priceless piece of paper or data on a computer server. Everyone should strive for the lives to be expressed, everyone according to their own natures, the circles and beliefs where one finds tranquility of minds. How to change the world? In order to change the world, the people have to first believe that the world has been changed by you. And that does not mean that the whole game has to change. We are not talking the quality of the change, the quantification of the change. To change the world means to make an impact according to your best self-organizing and expression principle. Immanuel Kant has said it profoundly. Always act so that you may also wish that the maxim of your action becomes a universal law. The trick is of course in the definition of universal law. The mind can fall from the path of consciousness. It can go astray, it can start to believe that the universal law is the kingdom of the particular human race and race superiority, just like Hitler believed. Because of that we always have to question ourselves and go beyond our minds, fill the space, meditate, tranquil the mind, question it, seek for answers, think for ourselves, do not take things for granted and do not let our egos to rule us. Love, cooperation, prosperity and consolation are far closer to the universal law than this dark side. Nature loves diversity and we as humans are in her debt because we have killed so many species in the past. First you build vision by creating a mind-body connection. Secondly, you align the list of actions that you will work on in organized matter with dedication and perseverance. You'll put energy in it. You'll try on error what works and gather feedback. 
You'll learn from other great people who have been on similar traits and done it somehow. Information is nowadays accessible, though information is not always knowledge. And in order to gain knowledge, you have to implement the information in your own circumstances. Hence, you gain the knowledge. Knowledge is action, my friends. And reflecting upon this experience is wisdom. We want to be wise, don't we? Develop your vision, your belief and convince others to cooperate and believe this vision with you. That's the best education you can get out there. Subscribe to our channel and receive our energy product message framework book for 